This is where we spill the tea. I mean, we're here. We're on the Jones Beach Boardwalk. Oh Dean my Snyder's God. calling it. Wrap it up. We've been hanging out with the hot teas. The hot teas, by the way, are amazing. <laughs> Hashtag Long, Long Island, Island Life. Life. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to Long Island Tea, the weekly podcast where Sharon and I, I'm Kristen, we share why Long Island, we spill the tea on why Long Island is the best place to live, work, and belong. Yeah, because we belong on Long Island. We do, and we are Discover Long Island, which I don't know if we say that enough. I, mean, I know, do, right? I don't People think we know. do. Uh, which, yeah, you know, right. we're the official tourism promotion organization for the region, in case you're new here. Yeah, and we may have some new hot teas. Yeah, we, we do. We're like growing like crazy. I love it. I love it. I know. It's it's awesome. And um, it's also weird because we, we talk to each other like, eh, yeah. about our lives. Yeah. And, like, no big, no big deal. And kind of thinking like, who's listening out there? And then we get all these emails. Right. All these DMs or comments on our posts yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Which like, is I great. Love it. Yeah, which is great. So thank you for tuning in every week to listen about... Um, Long Island and and sometimes just li- life and what we're going through because you're probably going through something similar. Yeah, you can relate. Right. I'm sure. So speaking of, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, wow. We're doing good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, it's a, such a roller coaster, right? I mean, and not just work, but every day is yeah. such a roller yeah. coaster. It's just such... I don't know, maybe it's just what we've all been through or whatever in the last few years, but it's like you're watching, in one sense, you're watching the Queen's Jubilee, and then we'll talk about our celebrity and what's happening with, you know, Johnny Depp and Aunt Amanda Heard, and then there's like tragic and war, and you're like, oh my God, I don't even know. Right. How do I feel right Right. now? Um, Did you have an amazing Memorial Day weekend? Oh, uh, I did. Yeah, I did. You know, we broke out our um, outdoor movie theater for the first time this summer. It is uh, the coolest thing. So we're going to do a Father's Day gift guide um, next, next week, up, yeah. and we're going to post everything that we're talking about on our blogs as well as on our Amazon page, some of the stuff you can get on Amazon. Yeah. One of the things, if you're thinking about a Father's Day present right now, and it is kind of for the whole family, but dads love this stuff. Oh, yeah. Like Thomas loves it. Yeah. Setting up the outdoor movie theater is Because like, it's insane. It's very manly. I mean, so what is it? Like, I think we need to explain it a little bit. So it's this giant inflatable screen, and it, 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 it like you set it up and then it's got this in air thing this pump this yeah. air pump thing it blows up like almost like a big inflatable thing that you would put in front of your house on christmas or something right right and then we have a projector mm-hmm. that you put and you can stream anything we, you could That's watch so awesome. stranger things we were watching um we watched old school oh and i then, love them i know right and then the kids vetoed it they were like we're tired of all your old 80s movies oh and my then, god that's so and funny. then you know what you watch they wanted to watch et Oh, tired of your 80s movies. Right. Uh, speaking of E.T., did you hear that they s- they're they selling the replica of his bike? Oh. For like $900. No. It, ha- it doesn't come with the milk crate, though. Oh, okay. But no. it's, it's got the red, and it says, you know. Oh, that's so, it. cool. that's so cool. Well, you know, and our good friend uh, Drew Barrymore is in that yes. movie, and I was watching it. I'm like, she looked so cute. She was such a little baby in that she show. She was so cute. Yeah. And I was telling my girls, I'm like, that's Drew Barrymore. And they're like, what? I, no, isn't it funny when you like you tell them who like who's yeah. who and like and also that's how long she's been a star. Right, exactly. I watched her reel the other day on Insta where she was she had like false teeth when she would go on shows to talk about her oh. you know act actor and stuff like that, and it was like she's she posted it saying like how funny is this and she had to like take her false teeth out to talk. She was like six years oh old my God. because it, I don't know why they made she her had do little that. Bitty teeth. Yeah, she had like, um, little baby teeth. And you know who else was in that movie? And I was telling Thomas, the mom from E.T., because I hadn't seen the movie in a zillion years. Oh, yes. Who was it? Uh, the mom is this, I can't remember the name of the actress, but she's the mom of Gabrielle, it's Gabrielle Stone, I think, who is the one that wrote hashtag FML. Yes. Yes. I'm like one of our favorite books. Yeah. Um, and I was like, that is Gabrielle Stone's mom, hashtag FML. Uh, it was at Eat, Pray. Her book is called Eat, Pray, Hashtag FML. Yes, it was and such a good one. And she came out with yeah. her second book, which D. is awesome. Stone. What is it? D. Wallace Stone. D. Wallace mm. Stone. Mm-hmm. Like such a, it just such a cool, gorgeous woman. Yeah. And she looks like a total 80s mom. Yeah, yeah. The curl, the perm hair, yeah. you know. Yeah, so speaking it. of the 80s, mm-hmm. um, how was your Stranger Things sleepover? Premier party? Yeah. Oh, cool. my God. So I don't watch Stranger Things. I love it. Um turns out it's a lot more graphic this it's very scary around yeah um so i watched like the first episode and i was like wow i let 
five little boys who <laughs> watch this. I mm-hmm. uh, hope their moms are cool. And all the moms knew because they were like yeah. sending over like Stranger, theme, Stranger Things theme stuff, yeah. you know. Um, but it was so cute. They pulled an all-nighter, the boys, oh. and um, watched it. They binged it. <gasps> the yeah. whole show? Yep. They oh, did. my God. At one point, I think they slept in the basement. So I came out ar- at one point, and I saw all the bags of chips on the stairs. They, they got hungry at some point. They were like yeah. little gremlins at yeah. like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that, cute. It, it is. I'm still watching it. So you're yeah. not watching it? No. I mm. love it. Um, the music in it is so awesome. Because, yeah. again, it's like from the, yeah. it's like from the 80s. Yeah. And then, you know, 90s. You know like, every song. Yeah. I was yeah. like, and now that, you know, that song by Kate Bush, Running Up That Hill, is like the key song throughout the, the show. Okay. And now it's like trending that's as so a top funny. top 10 song. Wow. That's so yeah, funny. I just was at Barnes & Noble last night and her vinyl was like right in the front. They were oh, featuring it. Awesome. I was like, how funny. You still go to Barnes & Noble? I love that. Oh my God. Kenzie is like a crazy. Yeah. She's, she's a like a book. She's, yeah. She's like a bookworm. Total yeah. bookworm nerd. She will admit it. She's yeah. fine. She reads. She'll read like on spring break three books in a That's week. That's amazing. That's why she's gonna be a lawyer. Yeah, she loves to read. Yeah, um, I told her she should work for like a, a publisher. Um, did you ever watch that show Younger? No. Oh my gosh, this is a great, great show to binge. Um, and they're like little thirty-minute episodes. Okay. I discovered it on a plane, but it's got a lot. It's got Hilary Duff. Oh, okay. Um, but it's got a lot of famous Broadway uh, people in it. Um, the girl who's currently in, I think Moulin Rouge, famous Broadway wow. actress, um, gorgeous. Um, uh, you'll know you'll you'll recognize everybody in yeah, the show. Yeah, it's a great cast, and it's about working for a publisher. So it's about a woman who got divorced, mm-hmm. and and she from like New Jersey, and she goes in the city to try to get, reignite her career. But she was a stay at home mom for a long time. Yeah, and so no one will hire her because she's too old. Oh. So instead of being like forty two, she pretends to be twenty two because oh she God, looks that's so good. So funny, and um, so she has to like figure out all the. Like, I love it. You know, Can memes. You, where'd you get it on Netflix? Uh, I don't know. We'll find it. Yeah. What Sutton Foster? Sutton Foster? Yes, she's this the lead actress. She's so great, and uh, she pulls it off. And I love Hillary Duff in this too. I love Hillary Duff anyway. They're she's so adorable. cute, and there's a great PR person. Anyway, I saw it and I was like, this is what Kinsey should do: is like read books for a living, yeah. and decide whether or not they should be published, and edit them, and help the writer. Like I was like, this is anyway. Uh, so yeah, we go to Barnes and Noble all the time. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> you know, like uh, all the time. So, uh, but it was also uh, it was a big week. Uh, personally and professionally it was a big day yes. today is a big day for us so um how about we talk about what we're drinking because okay. we're, we're celebrating we are celebrating right? cheers. cheers uh are you gonna talk about it mm-hmm. or are you gonna take a drink okay cool you gotta take a drink understood right. okay yeah. yeah uh we are drinking the lovely wolfer estate white wine um this is absolutely delicious it's very I light right i love it i was I like mean, we're celebrating so we bring out wolfer <laughs> of course yeah um, this is just a white wine and I'm not too it's, sure. you know what? It's like the white, it, it's the, um, it's like the white table wine, right? Yeah. And surprising. I mean, it's Wolfer, but yeah, a table wine, you know, yeah. you, it's kind of give some, or take some or whatever. people are like, mm, I don't know when I want to buy the table wine, but I'm telling you the, first of all, the bottle oh, is yeah. so, so cute. cute. Twist cap. Twist cap. And it's like not a regular bottle. It's like a short little designed, um, like little short and stocky bottle. But it's, it's very, stout bottle, it's very right? bougie yeah. in the label. It just, it's so cute. It's a great, great summer wine. Yes. If you're going somewhere, the beach, a party, a your barbecue, backyard. Absolutely. Like me. <laughs> like bring it. Absolutely. <laughs> My backyard. Um, real quick though, speaking of Stranger Things. Um, doesn't this shirt remind you of Stranger Things? Yes. I <laughs> fully, I'm like, I'm, they're bringing back the fashion too. I know. I know. I just bought this shirt over the weekend. I went shopping with the girls because we're doing like prom season. Yeah. And shopping for shoes. and Graduation and, parties. And, yeah, yeah. And like senior pictures yeah. and all this stuff. And uh, I went to go shop for them. And then uh, I ended up buying something at every single of store. Course. They were That's like, we don't like anything. And I'm like, this shirt <laughs> I like reminds it. And me you know of what's funny 80s. though? What? They'll steal it from your closet. Yeah. Exactly. You know they will. They were like, mom, please don't buy that. Yeah. But then that they're gonna like wear it with so, like don't buy it, and then I'm like I'm buying it because yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, and Kenzie's like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you already have that. I'm like something just like I'm like no, it's got like because it's the pastel stripes and, and it's, it's linen. Got, like, the, it's so pretty, and it's got like this little gold stripes. I, I swear, I swear, the girls in Stranger Things wear More this it. exact yeah. shirt, and I was like, <laughs> I'm buying it. Uh, <laughs> I, I love it. Um, but big day today. A uh, couple things happened. One, we did Kenzie's ASU orientation. Uh, 
virtual. Oh my gosh. Which is so cool. Ever since COVID, all the virtual stuff yeah. you can do, you don't have to travel there. Yeah, that's awesome. And she's getting, she's working on her schedule and yeah. her classes. Good. Did you meet her roommate yet? Um, they, they're they talking. Okay. Yeah, they like each other. Good, yeah, that's they, awesome. Yeah, she's she's cute. So she's got a roommate and then she's got sweet mates, but today was like her schedule and the classes. And so, you know, just like surreal. Yeah. That oh, she's God. getting her week planned out. And then, um, you know, I was going to take Tegan to the orthodontist. Yes. And I called them because she's got her formal coming up and she's pretty much done with her braces. Yeah. They were going to wait till the end of June. So I called them and I was like, you know, she wants them off before formal. So they called me right after I talked to you yeah. and they're like, if you can come in right now. <gasps> She no got her way. braces off. Yay! Yes, oh, it was that's big. such a big and deal. And she's like, it, it, it's amazing it how face, right? like, much older she like. She's yeah. like, it's, she goes instantly. Like I dropped her off. She went back, you know, back to the thing. I had to go do some calls, and then I came back immediately. Oh like, my god, teenager! Oh, I need to see a picture. Oh, I, I've got him. Yeah. I, I insisted. I'm like before and after. She's like, would you please stop? Oh, you have to. You have please to document that. Some best yes, thing. that is so adorable. It's oh my so god! Please, big day for the Jarnigan girls. Yes, and then for us, you know, we've been talking about the convention center. Yeah, and uh, it's just so funny how people still say. Last mm. night, I was talking to somebody about, it and they're mm-hmm. like, "Never going to happen." Yeah. Yeah, it's Long Just Island. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Don't worry. When and I it, see a shovel in the ground, <laughs> you know. I love your life. No one's going to come here. Yeah. Not going to happen. Uh, happening. Yeah. It's happening. It, it just happened. passed the state uh, Senate and Assembly today. So it's only awaiting Governor Hochul's signature. signature. And and that's an and it's easy done. thing. It's oh done. My God. And it not only builds a convention center and potentially an e-gaming arena and inter, uh, you know walkable entertainment oh and a gosh. new hotel and some really cool life sciences office space which by the way it's going to be like life sciences and discover long island i hope yeah. you know that yeah. we're like moving our office there i know exactly um, but it also you know increases our budget significantly because you know when you, when you build a convention center you have to tell people about it right <laughs> it turns out right you, you have need to, to promote like, it yeah yeah well, like we it. talk about you know meetings and and conventions they book years in advance yes, of course you know there's no mm-hmm. the people don't understand that no though. they don't they don't get it i mean we were just uh we were just in the semifinals for the NCAA women's yes. um, basketball team, and they were looking at 26 through 31. Right, and exactly. And today there was another one for like a, a conference uh, for a sports association, mm-hmm. and um, they're reaching out to us to bid on it, and, and it's starting in uh, 2027. Isn't that amazing? You know, so yeah, we got to get on it. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're going to build a convention center, and we want it sold out. Day one. Opening day. <laughs> yeah. Opening Sold day. Sold out. It's going to be the most coveted convention center in the Northeast and then eventually in the country because that's how we do. Listen, dreams come true, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you, you have started this since the moment you arrived here on Long Island. Thank this you. has been your dream. And you've said it since, you know, I remember your interview being in the board meeting and hearing them talk about it. And I'm like, maybe, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then. Well, you, you, thank, thank God I have you because you're like, we can do this. And everybody else is like, Psh. pipe <laughs> Not going to happen. Pipe but no, listen, congratulations. Thank that's you. amazing. That's so cute. Thank amazing. you. Mm-hmm. Let's, so we're celebrating. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Mm. That's big deal. And it's gorgeous. It's like, really like feels like summer now. It's gorgeous. I know. The I weather has changed I dramatically. It. I, it. I, I mean, it. it's amazing. We have some amazing stuff going on this season. Yeah. Like, I We always talk about some events, but, we, but we've got new ones, right? I mean, June 11th, there's so much things going I know, on. It's, crazy. it's like you can pick and choose. You can throw a dart at a dartboard and be like, okay, I'm going to go to the Moonlight Market today. You know? What's that? What's that? Uh, Moonlight Market is crafts and curiosities, food, performances, and more at the Great South Bay Brewery. This is in my hometown in Bayshore. I love this brewery. It's awesome. That's that's awesome. What, I mean, what's the name of it again? Sorry. It's, it, the event is called Moonlight Market. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it's the brewery, but. Um, they have like family fun stuff, like crafts and things like yeah. the You know, in, in Europe, uh, they it's like breweries are totally for families. Right. I've been there and there's like literally a playground. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. In Germany, that's they have awesome. like every there like benches and everybody gets their stein. Yeah. And that's it's like the park. The cool thing about um this one is you can bring your dog too. Oh, I it's love so cool. yeah. that. Every time I've gone there, the like beautiful oh dogs are God. there. I'm like, it oh my gosh. It makes me so happy when you let people bring their dogs. Yeah. When you go there and you see dogs, you're just like, this, this, is, this a is a great place. place. Yeah, exactly. The energy. Did I tell you one? There is this great place in Phoenix called Oso. It's my favorite brewery, right? Mm-hmm. I took the girls there when we went there um, for our, um, like, 
campaign and they actually give you dog bowls when your dog comes oh, and they wow. give you like dog biscuits that's like awesome. they give your dogs treats wow that's and so great. like it, it's one of those places that when you show up if you don't have a dog you're kind of like you're weird odd man out yeah like why and I'll never forget one of the best memories, and, and I hope we can do that here, just in case, because this if you bring your dog to this brewery, do this, like make a siren and make it howl or something, because I'm sitting there one time, it was like a Sunday, it was beautiful, and one dog started howling, mm-hmm. and then all the dogs started oh howling, God, that's so and funny. then all the people started, started howling. howling. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so funny. So, I'm like, this just makes you happy when you bring the dogs. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah exactly. I'm coming, because um, so, I can bring my dog. Yeah, exactly. Um, the Long Island Fun Fest is going on the whole entire month of June, from June 9th through the 26th. Um, it's at Suffolk County Community College. It's a, it's like a fair. Yeah. It, you know, it's like I a state fair. I want to go to this every year. Every year I want to go to this. Um, it's huge. It's huge, yeah. And awesome. Yeah. Um, they have, as the, it's the largest fair on Long Island, bringing all the family fun of a state fair right here to your backyard. It's packed with free shows and entertainment. It's on at the Suffolk County Community College. Yeah, and I was going to say that. It, it's To me, it's like a state fair. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, and, and it's, it's every weekend, which is awesome. I wanted to go last year, and I feel like it rained every weekend. Every, every weekend I wanted to go, it rained. But I was like, every year I want to go to that. Yeah. Um, it's the Suffolk. It's the Suffolk Community College in Brentwood. Yes, on right. Wicks okay, Road. cool. Because yep. there's two of them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the Maker Fair. This is the greatest show and tell on earth. A family friendly showcase of invention, creativity, and resourcefulness at the Long Island Explorium in oh, Port Jeff. Oh, cute! I love that place. This is on June 11th. All, I feel like all the events are on June 11th. Yeah. Um, the Gatsby Festival in Great Neck is on June 11th and 12th. And then this is my favorite. I don't know if you've ever been to this. I've always wanted to go. This is like a bucket list for me. A Montauk blessing of the fleet. What? It's they bless the fleet. Do you know what? Like they smash the. Yeah. I love that. On a ship. Yep. It's on June 12th in Montauk. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Speaking of 80s, uh, Debbie Gibson is at the Patchogue Theater on June 11th. (gasps) Amazing. Michael, we need Debbie Gibson on the pod. Yeah. (laughs) He's like, I got (laughs) it. He's like, Done. <laughs> um, what I wanted to <laughs> I see, and we need to figure this out internally, is June 10th is MERS um, oh, event. Yeah, are the, you going? I want to go. Do mm-hmm. you want to go? Uh, no. June 10th um, is tough. I don't want to go only because I'm at uh, the International Pow Wow Conference That's all week right. and I get back like at nine o'clock the night right? before. Okay. Otherwise, I totally would because yeah. it's like a Friday. Yeah, it's Friday yeah. night. No, I. you should go though. I'm totally going to go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank and you I'm for inviting like, me, but now. And I'm going to also reach out to him and be like that weird stalker you, that yeah, I am. Be like, hey, Mer, I'm coming. Remember me? <laughs> I said I was going to come. And if you want me to wear the earpiece <laughs> I'm on fine. the street, I'll go out on the street. I will do it. I'm totally going to you know, do that. You totally should because, you know, yeah. So just as a reminder, he was on the show. He was such a great guest. And we've been talking about his show at the Paramount on yeah. June 10th. And he talked about, he was like, it's going to be so awesome because yeah. they go out in the street and it's like they live and practical. Yes. Jokers, you so know? you've got, if you don't have tickets to that yet, get those now. Yeah. Um, Cause it's a Friday night in Huntington and there's a new hotel in Huntington. Right. Um, it's probably sold out already just to be honest for Friday night, but you can check into it. It's called the Hampton Inn and Suites in Huntington and it's in the old courthouse Which or is the town the, hall. Uh, old town hall or bank, right? Yeah. It's a town hall, I think. And it's right on they Main kept Street. The historic. Oh my God. It's right. You could walk. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing. Gore, it's I love brand Huntington. new. Me Huntington's too. such a good town. Me too. Um, there are so many events for Pride. I know we mentioned a couple of them last week, but uh, Pride after du- Pride after Dark is also on June 11th at Hofstra. Um, just to remind people that the Long Island Pride Parade is in Farmingdale. Yeah. You know, we said it last week, yeah. but I think it's better to... Ish- and what you know. day is the parade again? Um, that's on the 12th. Okay, yeah. Um, yep. You can go to LIPride.org to find yes. out the festivities. And all of their festivities. They have a bunch of them. Yeah. So just go to LIPride.org for all the Pride news. And yeah, fun. exactly. Uh, there's a Long Island Pride 5K in Long Beach on June 10th. Um, that's cool. No, no. Pride. Yeah, not I'm not going to run. No. But I'll maybe cheer you on. I'm sure it's fun. Yeah. I'm sure it's festive. But no. um, uh, we mentioned these already. So yeah, the pride stuff. But no, go to Long Island Pride dot org for sure. Not just during Pride Month, but like they have events yeah, all, all year round. Year round, yeah. And um, it's just a it's just a really great organization that also does a tremendous amount for the local LGBTQ community, mm-hmm. uh, the youth. 
who, by the way, are still going through it in so many ways. All oh, of our yeah. kids are going through oh, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's just one more thing for yeah. kids to deal with sometimes. And, and, and any kind of stigma that kids feel is just not okay. And so they do a lot of support for that. And also, I think it's really cool. One of the things they do is housing for like elderly LGBTQ oh, wow. people because they grew up in a different generation. Right. And it's not always easy, right? So the Long Island um, Pride Network, the Long Island, uh, is it L- what's it called? Long Island LGBTQ Network. Um, they are they do such good work. Just yeah. go to lipride.org and just support them. Definitely. I just love them. Yeah. Um, okay, so speaking of Michael, because we were like, we need Debbie Gibson, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, our social media guru, who's like doing everything on social he's media. He's amazing. He's here awesome. like two weeks, and we're like, oh my uh, he's God. He's like part of the team. <laughs> yeah. It's like he, part of the he DNA. He dropped the mic when he came, you know? DNA. Part of, he's like, he's... <laughs> he's fam. Yeah. Um, he comes in the office, because we were talking last episode about our bucket list. Because yes. we, we talked about the 2022 bucket list, which is on discoverlongisland.com, which you can use as your guide, but Sharon and I have our own bucket list on top of that. Mm-hmm. And we talked about goat yoga. Yes. Michael's like, oh, we got reached out to by Suffolk County Farms. Uh, our good friend Vanessa there. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Local. Oh, Vanessa reached uh, out. Vanessa okay. Lockle. Oh, no, good. She's, love her. Yeah. And they were like, you guys want it? We're doing it. I love it. I can't wait. I know. So we're coming up with uh, like live, more live remotes like we did at the Jones Beach because right. we got such good feedback. We did. I think people love that. I mean, yeah. We had so much fun, obviously, I mean, awesome. but um, this is going to be awesome. We'll probably do the the goat yoga and then do the yeah. pod after. Yeah, yeah. Talk yes, about it. We'll do that. Uh, we we'll probably bring the fit doc too. Oh yeah, Ms. yeah. Doctor Michelle Reed because just love her, and uh, she's know, gonna love that. She's gonna be like, <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know because sometimes I think she's gonna be like, you're crazy, but then she's also so game for everything. She is. She's That's what I think for I everything. Love her. We've been trapezing together. Yeah. She's like, she's like, you want a goat to climb on my back? Okay. She's like, she's got such a just a lust for life. I just love her. I know. She's, she's so awesome. She, you see her new haircut? She looks. She looks amazing. Oh, and she's blonde. I know. She looks so good. We talk all the time, by the way. Oh, you do. Okay. She, you know, it's just amazing what has come out of like some of this tumultuous tumultuous times and. And she's become a really good friend. Yeah, she is. That because her son's going to college right, as well, right. and so we have so much going on that we can Chat. relate to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, she's just such a good friend. I just love her. I Aww, really do. Good. I just she's so great. And um, they just hired a new social media person too yeah. that we referred to them. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, for that. so we're gonna have uh, like some some meetings and some collabs with her too. But um, so. Other things on our on mine and Sharon bucket bucket list that we were talking about. So goat yoga, we're going to do it. Yes, I I always say I haven't been to the nautical mile right. yet. I think we need to do that. We have to go and we have to drink Long Island iced teas. Exactly. Um, I mean, maybe only one. Right, because uh, <laughs> that that'll be dangerous. Yeah, but no, that's definitely on our bucket list. We're gonna go. We it's have right to. In the water, and it's like epic. It's epic. It's like that's typical Long Island summer. I you know. know. I mean, so you get to watch the boat. Yeah, I'm so excited. and you get to like eat all kind I don't eat seafood but you do yeah, yeah. you know like it's I do. it's awesome no we got to do it yep. so so and, I have yeah, um, one of mine was we talked about this before if you park in field 5 at Robert Mo- Robert Moses you can walk to Kismet from there oh yeah I've however heard yeah. they have pedicabs now I don't know if this is a new thing but oh do you know what a pedicab is yeah so that's awesome it's $10 per person yeah so if you're too lazy to walk <laughs> right if you're, you're like, staying at the like <laughs> whatever cafe bar that i'm um, like five and you're like let me go to feel kids it's, de- it's a decent walk it's like a mile oh is that it yeah it's, I it's thought short. It was more than that um but you can walk to fire island from Robert yeah. moses which is awesome uh, that's the only place where you can uh get there other than ferry i think is that one yes. that one trail otherwise yep. you have to go on a ferry to get yeah. there so that's or cool. you can take a pedicab a pedicab for ten dollars per person. Mm-hmm. I think that's awesome. Uh, uh, we have a new partner too that Jessie was telling me about. I forget where. I think it might be in Patchogger, but it's the pedal bikes. Do you know what I reached out to them? It's um, like Urban Pedal. Yeah. Do you know how cool that is? So I wanted to do like a staff event with oh, them. Yeah. Um, when we were t- thinking about our holiday party, I'm like, it's December. And oh, it yeah, was like yeah. what the weather wasn't so like, bad. No, no. But they're like, we would love to work with you no matter what. So yeah, they joined on recently. Oh, good. So that we should so do happy. that. We should do that this summer. Yeah. As, as a, our staff as a event. live remote. I love it. We would go from place to place. I think that's awesome. Oh my God, that would be dangerous. It's so funny. That would be funny. Those are cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for that. Um, what else? Um, I was just going to talk about... Well, hold on. Are we still on the bucket list? Yeah, a little bit. 
Okay, go ahead. Uh, Jones Beach Shuffleboard. Did you know that you can go to Jones Beach and like they have all kinds of different games and stuff you can play, like shuffleboard? No. Oh, it's so fun. That should be on your bucket list. Okay, too. yeah. But you know, we had, uh, speaking of Jones Beach and things you can do there, we had a really great happy hour with our staff yes. and the Wild Play yeah. team who is the zip lining right there at Jones Beach. Um, we went to Prime. It's an incredible course. Like, you, it's beautiful <laughs> so cool. to look at and it's, it's right awesome. On the beach. It's, it's right, right on the beach. How You can't. It's amazing. Do anything funner than that. I know. I mean, come on. And I, we absolutely loved them, right, Michael? They were the sweetest people. They're, they, they're, so Wild Play, turns out, is from Canada. It's a Canadian yeah. company. And they've been in business there for, like, generations. And it was so cute. The girl, thank you, that was there, Kat, she was like, this is my dream job. She's like, I was a Wild Play kid. I would go there oh. when I was 10 years old. And they're like, they actually have a bungee jump at their oh wild my play gosh, in Canada. That's amazing. They're like, some people do it like as a bucket list. She does it like on a weekday <laughs> for her lunch. She's break. like, like yeah, I'm gonna go bungee jump. I'm gonna go bungee jump. I She's a it. total thrill seeker. I love it. That's and so awesome. She was so cute. She was talking like, I'm gonna go surfing in Montauk while I'm here and all this. But um, and Jonathan and Adam and their team, uh, they were so great. We took them to Prime in Huntington. Beautiful. And they were like, mm, thanks for taking us to a dive bar. <laughs> No, they were kidding. No, oh my <laughs> Cause god! Because no, they were laughing because it's so bougie. Yeah, it is very bougie, it's but it's like beautiful. Sushi, and you're looking at the marina and all yeah. the fancy. It was so. They were like, mm, yeah, we're like, this is a Long Island dive bar. Welcome. <laughs> 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 of course, we're like, we had to show you Prime, uh, which is on the water. On the water, and it's a gorgeous restaurant. Yeah, and I just want to give a shout out to the Wild Play uh, team because they were so funny. They were like, they're new here, you know, and they're like in Canada, like. You just say Wild Play. Everybody's like, oh everybody God, knows. awesome. Yeah. Um, and they're new, so go check them out. I think it's awesome. Wild Play, I mean, I chickened out when we did our event because yeah. I, not that I chickened out. Let me rephrase. That's on my bucket list. <laughs> my luck, I know that I would totally like sprain an ankle. And you were leaving the next day. I was day leaving the next wedding, day. Yeah. So, so I was yeah, like, I got you. So David, David Holder is like, uh, you totally chickened out yeah. on the <laughs> he's zip giving line. You, he's, he's giving, giving you our time. heat. <laughs> But it's uh, it's really cool, and they're they're just a you know what they're just great people. So yeah. and uh, I think on our website we're gonna do some giveaways. Actually, they're gonna give us some giveaway tickets oh, for cool. our partners, and then there's a discount. I think it's called Discover. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So anyway, go to the website because uh, we have a discount. And if you if you want the discount, just DM us. Yeah, we'll, and we'll we'll, find we'll send it. it to you. Um, you know I've never been to Robert Moses Beach, and I can't believe that. Isn't I cannot so believe that because first of all, Robert Moses Bridge is your favorite bridge. It's my favorite bridge. I go there all the time, all the time. but I call it Jones Beach. Yeah, I but mean, it's a different part of Jones. It's like Rob. It's a still a state park. Yep, but, but it's, it's like, Robert Moses. Like you guys, and it's a different vibe. Yeah, you and Michael are like it's better. It's a different vibe. I mean, Jones Beach is beautiful and fun, and it's like, you know, it's amazing. But Robert Moses is less. It's the local. It's, it's the what local, all yeah. Long Island. I'm telling you, if you are not from Long Island. It's what all the locals know. Yes. That is the beach. Yeah, totally. Right? I mean, any part of it, there's obviously different fields, but like I do this whole thing on 4th of July where I just like send a mass text message to everyone I know, like going to Robert Moses today. On the 4th of July? Yeah. Field Mm -hmm. two, all the way to the left. Uh, Oh God, not everybody. Everybody Everybody that's listening goes there. You do uh, a tent? Yeah, we do like a little, you know, pop up tent to just have some shade during the day. But we spend the whole entire day there. It's so awesome. That is awesome. What's the traffic like leaving that? Not bad at all. Uh, I mean, it depends on the time. It depends yeah. on the time. Exactly. I go to Cedar, you know, my 4th of July. Um, we literally stay until we get kicked out. <laughs> My when they come around right. on their ATVs, like uh, parks closed. My Fourth of July <laughs> tradition is we always go to Cedars Beach in Mount Sinai because mm-hmm. there's two Cedars beaches, just in case you know. And there's a bar there; it's awesome. I've taken my family, and so when you go in the North Shore, it's more rocky, right? But I love it on the Fourth of July because Port Jefferson does their fireworks. Mm-hmm. But then you get to see the fireworks go off on the entire coast of Connecticut. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's all just on the so sound. Beautiful. It's beautiful from a distance. All the fireworks, and it's just so great. But then getting out of there. Nightmare. I, I need, I'm like, I could get out of the Super Bowl faster than I this. Know, Somebody I know. needs to, I've been, I don't know what's happening and it's, who's directing the traffic here. It is. It's, but you need some help. Yeah. You got to time it right. No. You know, some, you've been you here need, six years now. You should I know. need to run it <laughs> because what you do is you block off both lanes. There's no more, you know, no entrance. No coming yeah, in. You, yeah. You block Let off. them out. I'm like, does, has anybody had experience in directing traffic? So just, be, you know, pack your patience. Um, so that's it. Like Davis, 
day, my, uh, the last thing, not the last thing, but one of the things I always say I want to do every summer and then I don't do. Yeah. But I want to do this summer is go to Fire Island from the Patchogue Ferries. Yeah. Ferry, which mm-hmm. is like, it's actually a national park. Yeah. It's, well, Fire Island. Yeah, they have like the park rangers and everything. Yeah. And they, they have a bar there, but there's like no hotels, I don't think. There's like a casino. It's pretty cool. Is there cool. a casino? Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, it se- it seems awesome and like much more low key. Yeah, and that's very that's very local. Yeah, it's a local, a local thing. thing. That's like a very local. T- yes, hint, you I know? never do it because I'm always like I'm scared. I don't it's, I don't know what I'm the experience is gonna be like. So I'm like I'm gonna go where I know. But that's a good day trip. You know yes. what I mean? Like that's yeah. something yeah. you should do when your family's here. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's a good idea. That. So we've got a bucket list, and uh, I think we we were talking about we're gonna meet right after this and go over like some live remotes, and we're gonna take you with us. Yeah. I can't this wait. Summer. I think we have some good ideas. It's going to be fun. I mean, goat yoga, come on. You can't go wrong. I mean, when we start with that, you know, we can only go one direction. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> but yeah. I, And then we'll go to a couple of vineyards. Yeah, and yeah, We yeah. talked about vineyards, doing that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then maybe a couple I, of the hotels. Yeah. Some. Um, I mean, there's some, we have like 12 new hotels opening on right? Long Island. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so as well as a convention center, in mm-hmm. case you didn't hear it the first 45 times we mentioned it, just, you know, <laughs> life changing. No big deal. Life changing. It's a big deal. Um, do you want to talk about some in the news or some celebrity? Yeah. Oh, uh, can I just say? Oh, go, what, go, ahead, wait, go ahead. No, no. Are you sure? Well, so uh, my mother-in-law, yes. who we know in our family is Mima. Yes, Mima. We love her. Listened to the, she listens every week, but she sent me. I just think it's so cute. She like mailed me. I don't want to like put her address on here, but right. she, she mailed, mailed you me an, an article. article. She didn't just take a picture of it with her phone right. and text it to me. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. Which is what I would do. Yeah. Or she mails. The, she like takes the link. time to mail me, and then she writes little personal notes. Um, and it's about Tyson the bison, the bison? <gasps> that we've talked about. This, yes. This, the buffalo that was loose. He's coming back. Billy the thirteen pound bison was caught finally in Chicago after months on the lamb. So she put, the saga is over. Oh. And then she called me. She's like, but it's not over. Oh, no. What no, happened? Because now he's in a place, and people don't, it's a place for domestic livestock, but people are upset that they want him to go to preserve, like right. like Bully Joel went. Right. Which, we, whatever his name was, what was it called? We called Barney. Him Billy Joel. It was like, no, yeah. we're not going to call him Barney. His no. name is Bully Joel. Yeah. Um, so I'm reading through the lines here, and I'm seeing Tyson the bison is actually, I think, a female, or is a bison a female? I don't know. I was like, we need to hook them up. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's Pride Month, right? So uh, we need, they're both striving to be free. They're both, they're, they're they just kind, want to be free. They're, they're kindred spirits. Yeah. Obviously. We need to like connect them. Yes. How do we this do is, that? I don't know. <laughs> I, so whoever is, you know, took Bully Joel in the New Jersey preserve needs to also rescue Tyson the bison. I love it. I love so, it. We're on a mission. She's awesome, Mima. And that's so cute. I love her. <laughs> I know. I was like, this is the fact that she like mailed me a letter. We need with to the send clip. her one of these shirts, so the relic shirts. She oh, I know. It. It's really cute. And they're yeah. so nice. They are so nice. It looks, it's good. It's thick. So I love them. The whole staff was it. wearing them. Yeah. TikTok-ing. We did a TikTok. And wait yeah. until that's released. I know. Cool. And it's so cute. Uh, what's your celebrity or news? Or? Uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah, of course. I mean, come on. Of let's course. So this happened. Drop that. This also happened today. So let's oh hear it. Oh, my God. Let's hear your he thoughts. He won his case. Okay. And I'm so happy for him. Mm-hmm. I am so happy for You're him. You're so invested. I am. I'm telling you what. But she just, also won. It's very confusing. No. She won. He won. They're like, they both kind of won. So he won. He had to do. He has to pay her. Uh, he gets eight million, uh, ten million dollars, but then he has to pay her two million dollars for like so whatever. It's a wash. So he gets eight million. Not that he needs the money, but he needs to. You know, it's defamation of character. Honestly, like yeah, that's what you did. So you know what made me so crazy is just the way she and this her? is like the, made me crazy. The way she looked. Right. She wore like the. Did you see the memes where they had her dressed like she wore like the Doctor Evil outfit, yes. literally yes. like the gray suit that literally Doctor Evil wore. Yeah. And I'm like, I think that that was a bad play by her attorneys. I personally think she should have go- gone up to that stand, full glam, gorgeous that she is. It's like inventing Anna. Yes. Like, when, when yes. She's like, this need, will not do. She's <laughs> like, I need to look fashion. I need to look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fashion? Right. I cannot be fo- pho- Where she, like, photographed she literally hid in the in the jail cell she wouldn't come out because right. she didn't have good clothes yes amber heard should have done that heard, I, I i personally believe that if she would have gone up there looking her like as glamorous and gorgeous and why as he she loved could her. yeah uh people have been mesmerized by yeah, her and totally. they might you know i'm sorry but everything communicates oh 100 and, and showing how attractive you are presentation i'd be like 
she's so pretty there's she's no way like Dr. right Evil. but i mean i i'm i'm just happy for him i don't yeah. know if anything um you know if he's going to be back on the pirates i'm not sure if that happened I, I yet think or they, i think they did away they, but whatever yeah, they did he's but, Johnny Depp. i mean he'll he'll be fine uh, i mean like if he's just so awesome who was the guy on iron man that came back from everything like you know robert downey jr robert downey jr there's been a zillion i mean mel gibson yeah. he's come back yeah. I, I, you know these celebrities they come back did we talk about ray liotta's passing yeah you did i, did. That, I know that was so Can't sad and that. I, that meme's been going around too like the one yeah. of him laughing yeah y- you know what if you're not following long island wise guy on oh Instagram, my god please do he is hysterical i gotta tell you i love that guy because i he makes me laugh out loud out loud 100 percent. he was so funny today he posted a, a reel of a swan in my town in bright waters like uh, around the lakes literally attacking the cars like the swan <laughs> was literally attacking the cars and like there's massive traffic in yeah. this little t- village yeah and he's like <laughs> get it swans are mean <laughs> they are and that's where i go walking sometimes like you walk and you see mm-hmm. the night night watchers the night, night hawk walkers. watchers yep yeah i see these I swans I saw- and i'm like petrified of them <laughs> sharon i think i saw a night hawk today i need to google it <gasps> no um i'm driving by the pond and there's this black bird and it right when it spread its wings at these two giant chunks of red on the oh, wings because wow. you know i'm like a secret birder yeah which is yeah. so weird <laughs> why but secret about it i don't know it? that's funny i don't know i just you have love- to be careful do you have bird feed in your no yard i don't okay don't Should i no well if you do just be careful because it it attracts rats mice and rats. Ooh, like actual rats yeah. or mice? Rats. Ooh, no so thank you. So my neighbor, like a couple of years ago, had like 10 or 12 bird feeds in his yard. Yeah. And I had rats in the backyard. <gasps> and I didn't know that that's what it was. And like I called an exterminator. I'm like, they were coming from the restaurants from the village. Okay. And they found this bird seed. Yeah. Like. Oh, it's, it's like food. It's right. food. Yeah. Um, and he's like, that's what attracts them. No, I'm so glad I don't have bird seed, but there's birds everywhere. But I, th- I was like, is that a nighthawk? I don't even know. I've never, I've never actually taken the time to Google it. But yeah, the the swans. So I was on a walk today and I didn't take my dog Duke and I felt so guilty. I know we talked about it, but how was he when you got home? No, he was angry. He was he like, knows. Me I put side my tennis eye. shoes on. Yeah. And he knows. When yeah. I put my tennis shoes on, he's like, Where are you going? Sup? What are you doing? What, what was that about? <laughs> and I was like, he's like, what, what's he's your deal? The side but eye. the last time I took him, he got like ticks. Right. Because I took him through this park, or he, he, like, runs through all the bushes. And so we put extra – he takes medicine, and we put extra tick collar. But I was like, I just couldn't today. I couldn't deal with it. I just, no, I you needed, needed your home. time. And yeah. I go, I'll go on this one trail. I call it the Carahan Trail because um, she's our legislator who, like, got this trail done. So you oh, don't have wow. to walk on the yeah. road. It, it's along the water. I love it. But here's his family of Canadian geese. Mm-hmm. Another mean bird. God, they're so mean. They're, they hiss. They're Vicious. And they, they're scary. And normally I have Duke. Mm-hmm. And when I have Duke, they run. Right. And they were, speaking of the side eye, <laughs> they were staring. Did they have babies? So I don't know. So because there's water on the left and then there's a field on the right. And on the trail was in the middle. So they had split up. So I was like, they're coming for me. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm petrified like, of I'm them. just trying to walk by. It's funny because a lot okay. of like, we're in the Jesus. industrial park here in Hop Hog and those a lot of the buildings have those like shadow dogs mm-hmm. on there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're, to they're, get they're, the geese yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. So usually when I have Duke, it's no problem. They run. Mm-hmm. But with me, they were like, they were giving me like that. Yep. The the nudge. The pecking head. Yeah. Like the I'm coming. Yeah. Don't, Watch out. Don't. I know they they scare me so <laughs> much, like, especially so when they have babies with them. I know they they're get vicious. like super protective, and, they're, and their beaks they'll like crack your skull. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so um, I don't know how we got on that, but um, can I just say I got this, um, speaking of celebrity, mm-hmm. you know how much I love Elon Musk? Yes, I know. Did you see this article? I didn't see the article, but oh I saw all God. the memes about it. I <laughs> love, first of all, I love Elon Musk, and I also love celebrities that are like, just do your, just that are not afraid to say what they think. Right, right. I was thinking about Ellen DeGeneres the other day because, again, she had her last show. Did you watch it? No. I didn't watch it yet. With Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry. So she didn't say hi to an intern. Right. Or, like, her producers. It wasn't her, but her producers were kind of nasty to people or something. So she had a toxic environment. I'm like, you know, you know who was... I've heard are the meanest people in show business, Johnny Carson. Mm, I've heard mm -hmm. he was one of the meanest people in show business. Like, actually... I don't want to like. I don't want to say what. Spread anyway, rumors. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't spread rumors, but like there was, you know, alleged like domestic violence, all sorts of stuff. Wow. And at 
have you ever heard of David Letterman being nice to people? <laughs> exactly. No, he's not no. personally nice. No. And also, uh, Jay Leno, not known for being like super nice behind right. the scenes. They're fine. Yeah. They yeah. don't get their show. But if you, because she's what a woman and she's supposed to be like hi. I'm well, because she I so think she can't just portrays be like, herself to be yeah. so. Well, so do they. Yeah, not as not as much yeah, as Ellen. I'm just but like, give, I think she can't have. It wasn't can't even just, anything. It was like you said, her producer didn't like welcome them or something. Yeah, you know, like why it was stupid. Why does she get labeled Ugh. for not being nice enough to people? It's awful. I just it makes me insane. I, I love, just love her. I love her. I love Steve Harvey and the email That's he sent. Yes. Don't look at me in the hallway. Exactly. I love it. Look and away. And so Elon Musk uh, sent this email out to his uh, Tesla staff saying basically show up or you're out remote work is over yes remote work is over everybody in his electric car company elaborating on an earlier missive to executive staff about the need to be in the office so he's like you know everyone at tesla is required to spend a minimum of 40 hours uh in the office per week he wrote and to be super clear he's like moreover the office must be where your actual colleagues are located, not some remote pseudo office. If you don't show up, we will assume you will have resigned. And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, and he said something like, uh, in recent weeks, he was praised. Uh, he praised employees in China for burning the 3 a.m. oil while saying that Americans are trying to avoid going to work at all. Oh my Which god. Which is actually hundred percent true. It is hundred percent true. This is the culture we're in now. I mean And, and listen, I, I get it too, because I'm burnt out too and you know, I, if I just, I if I win the lottery, I'll be like peace. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know what's funny? So, is, I get it. I, but. It, it is. It's it's how we are running the world now. Like everything is Amazing. you know, when you're talking get, and interviewing people get to work. Yeah. Come to sh- show get, up. Sh- it pandemic's you see over. That meme, it was like <laughs> Show up, get up, you know, like yes. those kinds of things. To make today yeah. great. Put your put your pants on yeah. and your shoes and show up to work. I was like, I just, I don't know why I love him so much. I know you do. I, I do. Know, I don't he's either. like, you know, he's eccentric, and I love it. I love it because I love it when eccentric people um, make it big, and he just says whatever he wants to say. The thing he said I thought was good. He was like, the more senior you are, the more visible must be your presence. That is why I lived in the factory so much. Like, oh my God. you know, he paid his dues. He built yeah. this company. Yeah. So much to ask yeah. to show up yeah, to your exactly. job. Exactly. Please really? come. And well, and that's, you know, we'll be living in the convention center. Yeah. That's I know. Fine. <laughs> Notice how I'm like, our office is going to be there. Yeah, exactly. I can't <laughs> I've wait. already got it planned. <laughs> now, um, we're going to have like a whole office space because we're wait. obviously going to have to grow our team. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. It's funny. I was talking to one of the staff today and I was like, you know, we're going to have to probably move. We're going to be like yeah. growing. And the, everybody just raves about how beautiful our I office know, is. And are. it's like, wait. Until yeah. we get to this yeah. convention, brand new, yeah. everything's gonna be gorgeous. I mean, people that know our office is beautiful, but it, it wasn't always. It wasn't always. It was a hot mess Heck express no. in here, and it I was actually miss our old landlord. I do too. He was such a cutie. He was a little. He was a snack. <laughs> <laughs> he was. I, what was his name? I, I can't even remember. Tell you. <laughs> Kurt. Kurt. I don't no. know. No, oh no. man, what was his name? I, but he was so he was about he was us too. So cute. He loves coming in here. All he the loved time. it. We're like, I would call him and be like, you know, we don't need to talk about this. But when we're doing the renovation, it's like I'll be there in five. Yeah, he <laughs> loved he it. He show like, up. He like at one point our I like office. felt like I was on your date. I'm like, I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. He, he was good because you know what? He was so funny. He was our landlord, and he came in, and we had all this old, like brown furniture, mm. and it was very old, kind of, you know, eighties, nineties. Oh god, it was awful. That, that cherry that wood. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. And and it had these fake plants on top, and I was like, I, you know, I, I got to get rid of it. He's like, so get rid of it. Like he literally picked it up and threw it in the garbage. Yeah, he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. And he like picked up the plant and threw it in the garbage in front of me. I was like, right. right. That's what I don't know. To do. I guess <laughs> right. Is that, this was our landlord, and we he near, was just we hanging out here. our <laughs> office, like off of his office. Yeah, you, you know, his he was like, I was showing his pictures. He, he was, he was, he was catch, um, and he was so sweet. And then he sold the building. We yeah. were like, boo. Mm-hmm. Well, Although our new owners are nice, yeah, but, they're super um, nice. He like remodeled everything for us, pretty much for free. And people in the building literally come in and they're like. Where'd you get those floors? Yeah. What'd you do? We're like, like, I don't know. He did it for us. He just did it all. He like painted and <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Remodeled it, and it's so gorgeous. I do love our office. I love our office. And you know what? I think that you know we people come back to work because we have a nice place to come back to work yeah. to, and mm-hmm. so that helps. Yeah. If your office was depressing, 
Like, oh yeah, you know. I mean, like we made it. We made it beautiful, and thanks to our old landlord. Mm-hmm. What was his name? It's gonna kill me. I don't know. We'll have to think of it because uh. he was he was really awesome. Cheers to him. Um, anything else I was gonna say? Anything else you wanted to say before I have a couple of other like things I'm excited about? Oh, okay. Uh, well, there's a couple of things happening with the Long Island Railroad, and. I mean, that sounds lame to be excited about it, but it's major. No, it's major. Like, exactly. You are, could be excited it, about yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so they're talking about the new, they've been calling it East Side Access for right. a million years. So right now, if you go, um, you can go from Long Island to New York City, mm-hmm. which everybody wants to, of course, and back and forth, and it's Penn Station. Right. And they're remodeling Penn Station. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it's it's gonna, beautiful. And they, and they have like this whole new Moynihan Station. So, Although Penn Station had so much character. Oh, it had so much character. Like, I miss Rosie's Pizza. <laughs> So bad. And and trails. Tracks. Or tracks. Tracks. tracks I miss tracks, tracks. Tracks. And you know what? When my daughters and I would go there when we first moved here, we would go to the city all the time. Yeah. It's, it's like amazing the thing to, to do. be able yeah. to go like, to New We're York going city. to the city tonight. And they were little. Like, they're in sixth grade. And you'd, you'd come out of it and they're like, people just screaming, you know, curse words mm-hmm. and like playing like Sammy Davis Jr. With On the, the like Yeah. And, like, like in the you know, corner. Like, right it's awesome. Right when you got the train, it's like, whoa. Yeah. You know, yeah. I left to talk it. Yeah. And now I'm like, woo. I'm in Penn. Culture. Yeah. Um, but so anyway, now it's really beautiful in Moynihan, and they have like a chopped, and they have all this fabulous. Like yeah, I was shopping there last time I was there. I was like buying stuff. That's so funny. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> and the new, now they're going to connect. They've been calling it Eastside Access, but they're connecting to Grand Central Station for right. the first time ever. Ever. Which they're, is going to alleviate so much of the commuter traffic because you can go straight to Grand Central, yeah. and they're calling it Grand Central Madison I, is why? the name. Where did they get that? Uh, Madison I don't know. Square Garden? No, I because that's Penn. Right? Yeah. Madison Avenue? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, Grand Central Madison. But I've had, I went about a year, two years ago, and I did a behind the scenes tour. Yeah, the hard hat tour. uh, The hard hat tour of the underground thing. And let me tell you, it is so amazing. Uh, it's it's so going to be cool. amazing. And the other thing that LA Double R is doing that was in the paper today, um, and this is, I think is also a game changer, is um, a, having they built a pedestrian bridge for the Long Island Railroad at UBS Arena. Yes. So now you can take it from um, the east, not just the west, because so if you live anywhere east of UBS Arena, which is in Queens, which is like every, all of Long Island, you would have to go past it right. and, and change trains and, and come Jamaica, back. In Jamaica, yeah. Yeah. And so now you can just take the train. Oh, it's from, open. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. So they're building a whole, a whole, it's like the first new LIRR train stop in 100 years. That's awesome. They're building it. But in the meantime, they built a pedestrian bridge. It's that incredible. That will take you, the train will go, and then you just walk over a bridge. That's awesome because so many people are like loving UBS Arena like they're loving amazing. it it's amazing I mean I, Harry I, Styles. I, lo- I mean Harry's house Harry's, Harry's house, house. Exactly. Harry's house happened <laughs> Harry's house happened at uh, UBS I love it and there's so many great concerts and bands and just the Islanders anyway and you don't want to drive you don't want to drive and park and right you want to be take the train and you just get on the train boom yeah you're there and just walk over the bridge I mean what, I what other it. cities can do that very few yeah very few cities have access to world class entertainment it's awesome. via public rail where you don't have to worry about drinking and driving or traffic right. or parking it's amazing so cheers to LA double R by the way and you um, yeah and so one more thing I won't take because we're over time mm-hmm. to hold on hold on hold on take a drink you gotta take a drink so guess what I'm trying to get tickets to and if somebody has tickets to this you can call me uh, the and the rewind tour with NKOTB I'm sorry? Where, New Kids on the Block? No, I know what that is. Well, when, it, when, when is that happening? I don't know. Mixtape tour, not Rewind tour. The mixtape tour. tour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's is that happening word. again? Yeah. I don't know. Somebody tell I me what that is, and we'll go I to that. Um, but uh, Pitbull. Are you serious? I'm going I'm to Pitbull. S- shut up. Are you going? I'm going. You have tickets? I do. Oh, my God. We're going to go. Oh, my God. So get that this. That'll be so Pitbull is coming to Jones Beach yes. Theater, which is like so beyond mm-hmm. epic. Epic. I love myself some Pitbull and some Jones Beach Theater, and the girls want to go. Oh, my God. And it's the Father's Day weekend, so I think it's June 11th, like, yeah, right? Yeah. Everything's June 11th. Yeah. And our, my bestie, Patrick and Ed, are in town. They're coming? Oh, They're my God. They're in town from the city. And oh. so I told them, I was like, we should go to Pitbull. They're like, oh, my God, Ed, in his New York accent, we're going, KJ. <laughs> I've got this. KJ, we're going. Oh, I love him. We will him. be there. Oh, my God. Um, No, so we're like literally Are they sold? In. They're not sold out. No, they're not sold out, yeah. so I need tickets. So wait, I think you should go the day of and get box office. Go to the box oh, office. right. That's I don't like, like my, to risk it, though. I know, but that is like when... like six tickets. I'm telling you what, 
There's always tickets. Okay. There's always tickets. Exactly. They this hold is, them. This is the so ins- this is a, a little scoop. spill the tea here. You go to Jones Beach the day of the concert and go to the box office and get tickets. I've seen so many incredible concerts, like front row for cheap. I looked and there was a ton of tickets still. Yeah. For Pitbull. Yeah. So me and my sisters I are going. Love- oh, my oh my God. God we're going to have so tailgate. We got a tailgate. That Literally. is hysterical. Literally. We should get a lemma. We should oh call Mark of Elegance. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need a party bus. <laughs> <laughs> this just happened. This just happened it's live. It's happening. Michael oh saw it. It was, it was real. We didn't oh know this was God, happening. This is so funny. Pitbull, June 11th, Jones Beach Theater. Um, Sharon and I will be there. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot wait. You know what wait. we should do? We should do a podcast. We should. We should do a live remote podcast. Because it's on if... What day is it on? A Saturday? I think it's a Saturday. Okay. Well, maybe not. But we could definitely do like live... We might live, be going over um, a little bit. Social. Yeah. You okay. know. Yeah. So that means we need seven tickets because Michael's going. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Michael's I'm down. Uh, are you a Pitbull fan, Michael? I like all of his features. Yeah. His, like J-Lo. Yes. Like yeah. The he likes the, ex- um, the people that he like him. duets with, J-Lo and all of the fabulous women. Um, it's so funny because I told uh, Kenzie, she's like, oh, my God, do you think we'd get to meet um, Pitbull? Because she's so used to BLI Summer Jam yeah. where we get like behind the scenes yeah. and she gets to like meet people i'm like i don't, Ooh, I don't know how who, do we how do we do this, this? is not BLS or like not. contact live yeah, nation and I'm like, or something. also i'm pretty sure he's he's short <laughs> he is he's <laughs> yeah. definitely shorter in person but he's awesome yeah. like yeah. bring the party oh I just my god feel like it's gonna this be the most be fun like, night ever. you know how like jimmy buffett concerts yes. here are like i don't like jimmy buffett though no me either okay but like people literally camp out at yes. 6 a.m I and mean, we're gonna do that we're gonna do that <laughs> We're not going to do that, but we're going to get a party bus. <laughs> we're going to get a party sure. bus. Okay. No. And Ed and Patrick get to go. Oh you get to hang God. out with them. I yes. Can't wait okay. to see it's going to be so gonna fun. It's going to be awesome. All right. So uh, meet us at Pitbull on June 11th at the Jones Beach Theater. And uh, and before that, we'll be here next week. So yeah, we'll just keep back. tuning in and follow our social. We're going to be doing giveaways all summer. We're going to come up with a slate of uh, remote. So just keep following the yes. tea. We've got you covered for Long Island summer. Have a good week. <laughs>